What's good, Raider Nation? It's Raider Joe. Back at you guys with another video on the go on my way to work. I haven't done any content, man. Not because the Raiders have been losing, because I've done content plenty of times when the Raiders have lost, but this week has just been kind of hectic, man. I've had to get my car just, you know, maintenance worked on. Uh, my daughter had a little Christmas recital thing on Monday night, so. You know, that's usually our time to go live with the RWO live and stuff. So I haven't been able to do that and I've just been busy with work and stuff. But uh, here it is, man. Um, my thoughts on the situation right now, I'm not even gonna get into the game because other than punting, there's really not much to talk about, you know, at least on the offensive side. Obviously on the defense, I mean, I've been saying it, Patrick Graham, don't fuck with that defense. Don't fuck with Patrick Graham. Don't fuck with none of it. You know what I mean? I don't know how much AP really has an involvement in it, like as far as the totality, but if he's, you know, really putting in uh, the work and getting those results that you see out there as well, you know, if he's if he's half the, uh, the decision maker there as much as Patrick Graham is, then, you know, you can't get rid of him either. You know what I mean? So that's why I can't really blame AP for the offensive struggles. But, you know, it, it would have been nice to, uh, fuck, at least put up a field goal. You know what I mean? Like, coming off a bye, man, it's not what you want to see, but it is what it is. Uh, but as far as the situation right now, man, I know that everybody, or at least most people, want the Raiders to just tank at this point because they have eight losses and even though technically they're not out of the playoff hunt, even if they were to win out, which I don't see happening, but if they did, there is a possibility that they could make the playoffs. Now, obviously, if they were to make the playoffs, most likely they wouldn't get far. So that's why everybody's calling for tank mode, because currently the Raiders have the sixth pick in the first round right now. Now that's all said and done that's fine and dandy but at the end of the day man you guys know my stance i'm never for the raiders losing on purpose okay and i know some of you guys might get tired of hearing that but it's the honest to god truth these guys even if they were eliminated after thursday night right if they got beat by the chargers and they were officially eliminated after that they would still go out there and try to beat Kansas City, try to beat Indianapolis and, and then Denver. Whether or not you guys want them to, that's the reality because that's their job. Now, aside from all that, man, I get it. You guys want the Raiders to get the next big quarterback coming out of the draft that we may have a chance to get. With that being said, if that's really what you want, really have to think about the circumstances that this team is in they really have no offensive coach they have no leader on that side of the ball so they have to hire a guy that is number one gonna be okay with developing a rookie quarterback because no matter how good he is in college that's gonna be his job as either the head coach or at least the offensive coordinator is to develop this next guy that they may draft. You know what I mean? Assuming they draft somebody. If they decide to go with Aiden O'Connell the rest of the way, well, that's going to piss a lot of you guys off, but that, that is also a possibility. But again, assuming that they do draft somebody, there is going to be a learning curve. There is going to be some sort of struggles that that rookie goes through. Now, with that being said, CJ Stroud and a couple of others, right, didn't really go through what seemed to look like a learning curve. I get that. But what you have to realize is that the Houston Texans and whatever other, you know, quarterback didn't really have those those rookie struggles, they most likely have good coaches around them. I don't really watch Houston like that. In fact, I don't watch Houston at all. But I would just assume, man, that those guys have good coaches around that young rookie quarterback. And so, again, 
it has to do with us, right? We need to bring in some good coaching, some good personnel overall, man, that can develop the next rookie quarterback if we draft one. Um, if Bo Hardegree is that guy, because he was our quarterback coach prior to you know calling the plays right now, that might be an option. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds, but what I can tell you guys is uh, you just have to look at it both sides of the coin. You know what I mean? You might want the kid out of LSU or you might want Caleb Williams, but the reality is, man, none of those guys may end up here because somebody else might draft them or we just may not go after them. You know what I mean? We may add to that defense and whoever comes in as coach or if they keep AP and, and God forbid if they keep Bo Hardigree, I would hope not. But should that happen, like they may want to just try to develop Aiden O'Connell. So it, it could go a lot of different ways, man. And, you know, I get it. People want to trade Devontae Adams. People you know, are saying Josh Jacobs may even be out of here after this season. Like, there's so much up in the air. I don't think I've, I don't think back, you know, since I started watching football, I don't remember a time where there was so much up in the air as, as, as far as like quarterback, receiver, running back. Like, there's a lot of head coach. There's a lot that could be changed. This could be a whole different Raider team by next season, or it could even be the same, you know, or, you know, some guys may be, may be out. Some guys may stay like, it's just, you just don't know, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, and again, some of you guys may not want to hear this, but this is just who I am as a fan. I don't believe in losing on purpose. I want the Raiders to win on third tomorrow, Thursday night. I want the Raiders to beat the Chiefs. I want the Raiders to beat the fucking Colts. And I definitely want them to sweep the Broncos or the Donkeys on that last game of the season. Um, and that's all there is to it, man. Now, I've heard some rumblings about AP, you know, May. I don't know if it's game time, but it's damn near going to be a game time decision on who he's going to start at quarterback. Um obviously i would say no on hoyer if he does start jimmy g though i would definitely keep aiden o'connell on the back burner because the thing about jimmy g is he has no long ball and he underthrows a lot of passes man or sometimes overthrows but that's rare it's usually under under throw and so that always results most of the time in, in, in a pick so you know if they're trying to win i say roll with the rookie you know, he had a lot of time back there on, in the last game. He just, to be honest with you, I think everything, the timing, the chemistry with everybody was just off. And uh, it's a shame because we had a bye, but it is what it is. You just got to move on to the next one. But I think if they want to win, definitely do not put in Jimmy G. And if you do, keep him on a short leash because he's not going <laughs> to, he's not going to do any better than I, I think Aiden O'Connell would. In fact, I think Aiden O'Connell would do a lot better you know what I mean he got this game shit show game out of the way let's move forward let's throw some touchdowns against the Chargers defense I know it's going to be hard you know because Khalil Mack's going to be coming at you every play but you know you just gotta on the plays that he takes off or whatever the case may be you just gotta take advantage of, it, of those situations man so anyways man that's my little rant Obviously, I'm not happy about what's been going on the past three games, but this is where it's at, and, you know, time will tell what the future holds for this team, but one thing I will tell you, man, is, especially in times like this, man, the strong will survive. Only the strong will survive, because being a Raider is not easy, you know what I mean? If it was easy, everybody would be a Raider, man, you know what I mean? Um... And, you know, like, we're fans. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. We're not getting paid to, to, to watch them or play for them. But we take this shit to heart, man. We take it to heart when they when they lose. And we act like they won the fucking Super Bowl whenever they won. Now, you just got to, you know, look at the positives as much as you can. I know there's not much to be positive about right now. But who knows, man, with the right coach, with the right quarterback,
quarterback or whatever the case needs need you know whatever change needs to be made I'm not saying they need to take out Aiden O'Connell or, or move on from him already but I'm just saying you know something's going to change soon and I'm hope, hope I'm hoping that that's for the better so anyways man with that being said as always go Raiders and uh let's beat those Chargers tomorrow night man I don't know about you guys but I definitely care 